Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. I'm Ultima Mantoid, and uh, let's go this way. We haven't been this way yet, so we're going to finish exploring uh, Foresight here. I don't get it. I heard that a guy who looks like Juan Atoli has been hanging out at Jackie's Cafe. You know, the totally unpopular place. I heard he quietly goes in and out. That's what she said. Oh, I know there's a problem there. I've heard some bad rumors about Mr. Montatoli. I heard he made a deal with a pure evil entity in exchange for power. You know, stuff like that. Mm, that doesn't sit well with me. Dinosaur Museum, huh? We'll check it later. This is Montatoli's building, huh? You boys are sneaking around looking for Mr. Montatoli, aren't you? If I catch you boys doing anything, I'll arrest you. New, new questions asked. New questions asked. Be prepared. Got it, Ness? <laughs> I've already checked out your name. You, sir, are a stalker. Stalky, 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 stalker! Last night, there was a solitaire tournament. I lost my shirt. I'll invite you next time. Hey, wait. Do you even know what solitaire is? Why, yes, I do, actually. I've played it numerous times. I'm an elite businessman who works in Mr. Monotoli's office. Good for you! So you're the one percent, right? Hello, babyface. What brings you to the Monotoli building? Um, this elevator, actually. I'm going to go this way. This elevator is only for Master Pokey's use. It goes directly to the 47th floor. Quit staring at my hips. Why don't you stand somewhere else b instead of behind me? Um, why? I can't stand anywhere else but behind you, because you're in the wall! Are you a friend of Master Pokey? It's okay to visit him here, but don't wander around like... Don't wander around the building. Someone might be suspicious of you and take a pot shot at you with a machine gun. Oh, whoops. I was almost going to beat you up. Well, hey there. That's another elevator. Can we go? Private elevator. Not for operation by the general public. Monotoli building manager. Ah, whatever. We'll just go this way, and... Why were you gonna beat me up? That's just, you're mean. Wait, is that... Pokey? <clears throat> Ooh la la. This, this is my poor old friend. Ah, what's your name? Pig's butt. No, no. Ness! Hey, buddy. If anybody's a pig's butt, it's you. Look how big and fucking fat you are. Didn't you come here to beg me for some money? <laughs> Don't you recognize me? I'm Master Pokey. Pokey! Get it? I'm now Jeldegard Monotoli's partner. And I give him political and economic advice. I heard there were some ratty looking kids asking for Mr. Monotoli. Was that you, Ness? This isn't a place for the likes of you. Get out of here! Now, loser! What, hey, what, what the... Hey, don't... Let me go! Don't throw me at... What the hell? I want to talk to Poke. What the fuck is going on? You must never show your face around Master Pokey. You got that? Shit. I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna fucking talk to him. This... Oh, he just says the same... Yeah, you're... You're a dick face. And a pig face. And a butt face. So... Dig pig butt, dick pig butt, yeah, pig dick butt. That's it. Wow, he's not going to give me any new information. What a badge! Well, I need to refill my water here with more water. Fine, we'll go to the other one. You haven't changed much, Ness. I'm Aloysius Munch, Pokey's dad. Due to my son's success, I now live the life of a rich man. Every dog has its, has its day. That's the perfect proverb to describe me. <laughs> oh, oh, my jaw is tired. 
You're such an asshole. However, in awesome news, I have chocolate chip granola bar. This elevator is going down. Look, don't stand behind me and stare at my hips. Jeez, lady. What are you, friggin' paranoid? Are you that big-hipped? Are you like Shamu in the pants? Hmm. I don't care. I'm eating this granola bar. Right in front of you. Right now. Because that's seriously how much I care. Because I'm friggin' hungry. I've had not much to eat today. Now, mm, there is a bus stop right here, but the bus stop will take you to the other side of Dusty Dunes Desert. What the? That's interesting. I don't think I've seen a butterfly set up like that before. Well, now that's a hole. I have lots of work to do, but I can't seem to move. I'm so curious about the dig. I can't help it. That's a healer, so you don't have to waste your time talking to him. I think you should dig somewhere else. If they have a live broadcast from the dig, I can check out the dig while relaxing on the floor. Also, I have Juji fruits, by the way. They're really, really, like, incredibly chewy and hard to chew. I've been watching them dig for a while. I wonder what, what they'll find. Really? Someone has a fucking sunstroke already? Let's go talk to the guy here and set up a camp so I can have full HP and PP because, hey, I'm going to freaking have to... Oh! Ness has the sunstroke! Well, that's a first. Hmm. Too bad it's like so friggin' chewy that they're like so impossible to eat. But they're delicious either way. My grandmother actually gave them to me. I was like, why do I get this big box of Gigi fish? Because I don't like them. I'm like, whoa! What the hell, enemies? This is all your fault. I didn't have a problem digging until this. I found a maze. Lots of monsters appeared, so I couldn't proceed. There's five big moles. If I beat the monsters, I can continue on. I think I have a bleeding ulcer from worrying too much. I'm helpless to really do anything. Hmm. Well, we'll just hug the right here. Five big moles, huh? Well, can't be that big. And we've already seen one giant, one, like, enormous mole. And we kicked his ass. New enemy, the Thirsty Coil Snake. Good job, Paula. 52, defense is 80. Freeze, they are vulnerable to freeze. And they can poison you. So, since they are vulnerable to freeze, let's just go ahead and take them out. Well, that was easy.
There we go. Poison can be cured using beta, but not alpha. Whoa! Uh oh. I'm one of the masters of this hole. There are five masters in all. We're all moles, of course. I believe I'm the third strongest amongst us. Take your best shot. So I find the one in the middle very, very first. Alright, well let's just size these guys up and see how powerful they are. Um, they're, they're playing boss music, so I'm going to assume that it's a boss encounter. So I'm going to go ahead and put a shield alpha up on Paula. Let's test the waters with a freeze alpha. And let's spy on the garden digger. Excuse me. Whoa! 129 defense? And they're vulnerable to flash. I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, sweet. His body solidified. And he's not resistant to ice. So let's go ahead and flash him. And uh, we'll go in with a freeze beta. And let's just shoot him. What? That's it? Oh, crap. Shield beta. Oh, God. Okay, we need to get rid of this Guardian Digger, so I'm just gonna have Jeff. Jeff is kind of useless here. But this is all Paula. Holy crap. Okay, well they don't seem to have a whole lot of HP. Well, they do, but... Freeze Gamma. I believe that's Gamma. Let's open the present. There's an IQ capsule inside. Paula takes it. You know where that's going. Paula took the IQ capsule and Jeff drank it. Jeff's IQ went up by one. Alright. Let's head down this way. We're gonna hug to the left this time. Well, to our right, but it's going to be on the left side of the other path. So, we'll just come down here. Thirsty Coil Snake... That's starting to get pricey. 18. That mole didn't hardly do anything to us. And he solidified too. Well, it doesn't matter. He's dead. What's over here? Big bottle rocket inside. Nope, not fire, not fire. I have full bags. That's not a cool thing. I need to... I need to pawn some of this stuff. Let's just go up here. See what we can find. Let's go down this way. Hmm, mole number two. I'm really the third strongest master. I'll destroy you now. Wait, really the third strongest master? But we already fought the third strongest. So, are you just misinformed? Um... Since they hate Flash, we'll just go ahead and open with that instead. Um, we'll go with a freeze 
Kappa? No, not Kappa. That's that's Gamma, I believe. Freeze Gamma. And you. I'm going to use one of those bottle rockets. I know it's going to reflect back at me and hurt, but I can heal it. Wow! 374. Yeah, he's feeling a little strange. It did not work on the Guardian Digger. Oh well. We freed up back space. He's feeling a little bit strange. I'm going to defend and see what happens. Very subtle light engulf Ness and his friends. Oh, well, that, that's actually really good. Acting a bit unusual. <laughs> Whoa! I want to know if he's going to kill himself. He's got to be close to, like, dying. Uh, only, ow, 60. Okay. No, and fuck it. We'll just finish him off. That was it? Wow, he really was close to dying. Yeah, Dad. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Sure. Sure, Dad. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep out for, for the bad guys. Bye, Dad. Ness open the present. Coin of defense. Now, the difference between the coin of slumber and the coin of defense, obviously, besides the uh, defensive stat, is this right here. Increases your defense and luck. Whereas this is defense and something else. Oh, no, it's defense and luck. So we'll just, uh, so we have the coin of slumber to, to toss at some point now. Calorie stick. What can we toss? Don't need the rust promoter. Well, we don't need the insecticide spray, really. The calorie stick will actually be useful because we can eat it. And here we have the titanic ant's cousin, the gigantic ant, as well as new enemy noose man. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and toss a bomb at them just to get everything started. We're going to throw it at the gigantic ant first. Uh, we're going to cast Fire Alpha right here. I'm going to spy on the noose man. I'm assuming he's going to be weak to fire because he's made of rope. Oh, decent to the gigantic ant, too. Oh my god! 47, 52, vulnerable to fire. Susceptible to brain shock. We don't have brain shock yet, so... Two gigantic ants. And that's the cool thing about bombs. Alright, this is not cool. We need to get rid of the gigantic ant. Um, we'll freeze Alpha, the gigantic ant. We'll spy on him, too. See what he's weak to. Oh, good. He's dead. No, don't spy on the noose, man! See, we would be done with this battle now. He used his biting attack, but he missed. Uh, we'll spy on him again. <sighs> Jeff's poisoned. 54 to 100. Wow, these things are really... They're weak to fire and freeze. Okay, that's good. No... Stop taking poison damage. No. Oh, they have magnets. Oh my god, really? I'm gonna 
have to actually dig into those caramels at this rate. Really? That was all he needed. Sure, why not? Although Ness is 34 now, so HP up by 2. Shield Beta, about time. 31. Speed, come on. IQ, yes! IQ went up by 2. This is a good thing. Combined with that IQ, uh, thing. Yeah. We'll go this way. Back up. We have an insecticide spray. Why did I get rid of that? I should have gotten rid of the rust promoter. We'll go this way. Teddy bear! Da 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 da! Steve makes a return! Steve the fourth, I believe. Let's go this way. There's a ladder. We'll go after it later. Ooh! Mole number three. How powerful you? My strength falls between the second and fourth strongest masters. W wait, what? Do you want to test me? But you're the third... What? No, fuck it. You're a mole just like everybody else. I'm gonna shield beta. Oh, no. That's only one of us. Um, instead, actually, we'll just cast Flash Alpha. We'll go with a Freeze uh, Gamma. And you can try and counter PSI units. No, Hungry HP Sucker. 355, that's so much damage, Paula. Did not work on the Guardian Digger. Oh my god, one hit sh one shot the teddy bear. Steve! You will die with honor. Uh, we'll just freeze Alpha to try and finish him off. Man. These guys are actually pretty easy. If you have this sort of power behind it. 32. Oh baby. Offense up by 3. IQ up by 1. PP up by 5. Cool. That'll help a lot. Oh, another caramel. This is gonna be awesome. Yeah, bring it. I'll use that insecticide spray on you, bitch. Um, yeah, I think we'll be good. Just gonna bash on the Titanic Ant and we'll insecticide spray. And let's try a hungry... No, or not. We don't have hungry. Let's go for the HP sucker on the noose man. Whoa. Oh, I was about to say, what? It did 68 damage, though. So that's not bad. Ooh, I got some HP out of the noose man. You stop that, you bastard. Aha! Uh -huh. Target the one with no PP. Going to Magnet Omega. Let's see if we can get more out of multiple guys. Nope, Noose Man has nothing. I think we can handle these guys. Stop poisoning me! See, Ness doesn't get magnets, so... Alright, I'm going to totally eat that calorie stick. Uh, let's HP Sucker again, because I got some out of him last time. Not bad! Jeff can keep his own health up like that. That's actually a good thing. And Noose Man became tame. Awesome. 
Alright, we're getting close to the end of the video, so I'll explore just a little bit more and we'll see where we end up. Man, I'm actually using items here. This is cool. About damn time. Actually, why don't I give... Give that to Paula. Paula actually needs the defense. Because she's got the least HP. And the least defense, apparently. So, we'll just do it like this. That balances their defense out just a little bit. Another, uh... Gigantic ant noose man combo. So, I think we can handle this. I'm gonna keep trying magnet to try and build up my PP backup on this stupid thing. And, uh... HP sucker on the gigantic ant. See if we can drain a lot of HP out of him. Nope! Chug Testa. A binding attack? Aw, oh, solidified! Stop doing that! Okay. You're gonna die just because you keep doing that. Might as well spy. See if I can do anything. 400 of their- Oh my god! Yeah, they are severely weak to ice. Cool. I'm gonna have to give Ness one of those PSI caramels at this rate. Surprised I'm doing this well, and Paula's uh, psychic points are holding out because of Magnet. So, this is the first time I've made it through this much of the dungeon without having to constantly go back up and out. So, I'm kind of proud of myself right now. A super bomb! Oh, that'll be fucking sweet. We'll give that to um, Jeff. And we have a horn of life and a couple life noodles. So right now we're doing good. We got a couple of bottle rockets. Um, yeah, we're, we're doing good right now. Let's go ahead and PSI caramel on Ness. Because right now psychic points are pretty damn important. Oh, come on. And there's the noose man. Alright, this is going to be the last battle, and I'm going to end the video here, so. I need to get rid of that uh, gigantic ant first, because uh, the other guy's not too... Like, the noose man, he's not terribly uh, powerful. See, that's the annoying thing. We need to get rid of him before he does that. Ow. Hit my hand on the seat. Wait, what am I doing? Not the seat, but the... Uh, the slide out on the computer uh, keyboard. At least it doesn't do damage and poison. <sighs> Flashed a menacing smile. That's right, get some last uh, last bit of magnet in there. Alright, now we just take care of the noose man. Alright, so... With that, I am Ultimate Mantoid, and this is Let's Play Earthbound. Until next time, take care, and have fun.